Surely God has a sense of humor. We have a sense of humor and we're made in the image of God. God is like us in many ways, or we are like God in many ways. But we are not holy or righteous or anything. We are because of Jesus Christ, but not currently in like the form we're in right now. We're in fallen bodies. We're in a fallen world. You know, we're looking up because our redemption draws near, it draws nigh. Meanwhile, in the world, things are deceiving, things are deceptive. So I mentioned that God has a sense of humor because Bishop Rudolf McKissick here, he's a man of God, right? He's a bishop, a minister. He's a minister of the word of truth, of salvation, of Jesus Christ. We're sinners. We should know this. He's responsible for that. He's taken it upon himself to be a, a minister for God, right? So people will listen to this man for words of encouragement or knowledge or wisdom. The discernment's a little off when a middle-aged man is wearing a shirt that says, God is dope. Something a 15-year-old teenager would probably say. God is holy and righteous and worthy of praise. He does have a sense of humor, but... When a guy's supposed to be a minister for God, God is dope? That's like a midlife crisis thing to say. He also has a shirt that says, All hail the most fly. Ha ha ha! Like the most high, right? The most high God? He's the most fly God. God is dope. So, maybe I'm wrong, but he appears to have poor judgment on the clothing and the message he's putting out there because again he's supposed to be a man of god he has the title bishop that means something right not to me or you guys mostly but right we're, we're all fallen sinners that's what we are some of us are, are trying to be a you know a middleman for god that's maybe not the best term but a mediator you know someone who gets the, the gospel out Tells people the truth about salvation, forgiveness of sins, about the Lord Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection, according to the scriptures. All hail the most fly. And let's remember that this is coming from people who have really poor discernment doing this gesture. If you're new to this, he's not just posing for a picture and resting his hands. It's a form of communication, right? Do you think God wants us to have hidden in plain sight secret occult knowledge wisdom signs symbols secrets or does he want us to tell people the truth of the gospel which is so simple a child can understand it jesus died so we can live god is dope and all hail the most fly and the utara bodhi mudra these are our red flags these are discernment issues i don't know this man's heart but again, a lot of people look to men and women of God for advice and to know scripture without reading it themselves, right? Scripture can be hard to understand. Like, I think every Christian looks at certain pastors, ministers, men of God that know the word, women of God even, even though there's that debate there, right? Brothers and sisters, we're another day closer today. The world is very deceptive. It's hard to understand why there's so much deception. Like, right, why is God letting this world continue? But another person can be saved today if they see the truth of Jesus and the lies of the world. Even, you know, like wolves in sheep's clothing, even ministers and bishops and people that are supposed to be all about God and truth. God sees through this hand sign there, that's for sure. God bless you, everyone.